Hello and welcome to Thaik. I'm Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how you can export only the filtered data in CSV in Power BI service. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is my Power BI service and here I have opened a report for the sales analysis report here. Whereas as you can see here, we have the different visuals here. And now user interacts with this one. He wants to see the Germany region and for the year 2011. So now the data is changed here. As you can see, calendar is 2011 and it is Europe and territory is different things here. Now let's select for another year, for example, 22 and same again. Okay, cool. So here we have bikes, accessories and clothing. And we have only two filters. Now if the user wants to export the data from here with only the accessories part. So if you want to do that, you can just right click here and drill through, go to details grid, Germany 2012 and then the accessories. There you can find only the list of sales in detail about the dates here and the region and then the subcategory, category and product here and the customer here and the sales amount as well. During the year of 2012, Germany, only the accessories. This is cool, right? Now here we can export this table into the CSV from using this option, more option and then export data. So here we can export this here into export. Here we have the format XLX or CSV. So export. So as you can open it here. Now we have only the filtered data from Power BI. This is cool, right? So how it can be done, I will tell you in detail now. With the help of two features, we can achieve this. The first thing is, let's edit this report. The first thing is, you need to build this table on a different page. So I have named this as detail grid here. Here in the visualization pane of this page, in this area, this drill down feature, I have drag and drop the fields which I needed from the main table to here in order to drill down the information. So I added the access product category here, the calendar year, region, and the sales territory. Okay, and one more thing here, in order to sync the filters applied here, because we are going to extract the information from here, right? Only from this area, but this region and calendar year is not going to make an impact over there. In that case, we can also use the slicer, the sync slicer function. So if click on this slicer and then you can view and then you can enable the sync slicer pane so there you can just sync and view this option between these two sheets or whatever sheet you can so once it is done then what will happen is it will apply this filter over that sheet as well let me show you that so i'm clicking germany now i'm clicking on united kingdom the data is filtered here so if you go to this one details create this slicer also changed here about the United Kingdom. I made a video about these two things as well, the sync slicers and then the drill through features as well. If you haven't seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. So coming back here, now I want to see the value of the clothing. So right click here and then drill through the details create. So it will pull all this information from the slicer and from this chart, everything here to this page and it will show up the value here. Now, if you see this one on the visualization pane, it is a product category is clothing and year is 2012, region is United Kingdom and sales at the group is Europe. So it has bring up all these features automatically. I just added only this one. So now let's try with without the using of the sync slicer, how it works actually or not. So clicking on going back here, because if this thing works only with the help of the drill through, 
then you can avoid the sync slices as well so clicking on this one now i don't want to sync this one just to make sure that the value is filtering or not so i'm visible in here same applies to this calendar as well so click on here now going back to this grid here it is going to be the same here because i have not changed for now so i am closing all this one because it was not done by me it has just added power bi automatically so i'm just taking this one product category is closing now going here to sales i am selecting a different value now it is the france and also the year i'm going to select it to be 2011 so now we have only bikes here in 2011 in france so i'm right clicking here drill through and then the detail screen as you can see the slicer here it is the region united kingdom and the calendar is 2012 it has not changed here but on the visualization pane it is bike 2011 france and europe so this is making a problem here now if you remove these two slicers from this page delete and then delete here as well yeah now it is loading so even without the use of the sync slicer only just with the help of the drill through features you can enable this option to extract all the filtered information into excel or csv if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button Actually, this is the requirement which many other people have asked about how we can extract only the filtered data in Power BI in Excel or CSV. So this is the way you can achieve this easily and you don't need any premium license for that. Even with the pro license, you can achieve this. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. If you are not yet a member of our channel, please don't forget to hit the join button to know in detail about it. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.